Okay, what's up everyone? It's me, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to get quick Vanguard reputation. This is one of my first uh, Destiny videos. Hope you guys enjoy it and hope it helps you out. So we all know Vanguard gear is the gear you get from for uh, completing strikes and missions and stuff like that in Destiny. And I found a way to get it very easily. First thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, Orbit. Wait for that to load up. Alright, you want to set destination and accidentally click on... Oh no. Yeah, Vanguard, you see here, the, the max strike gives you like 25 reputation per run. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go on Earth and go to Patrol and Cosmodrone. <clears throat> and we're going to wait for that to load up. Freaking jet bike just uh, rode by the house. Okay, now that we're on the Cosmodrone, we're gonna uh, get our vehicle out and find the nearest uh, patrol mission. And patrol missions are little green things like that that are on the ground. In the Cosmodrone, little uh, flashing uh, beacons, and you go up to those and you know you pick up the mission. Well, what we're gonna do here, we pick up the mission, and what we're gonna have to do is scan an area and usually uh, I would recommend this tutorial for higher levels so if like if you're a level I would say um, 18 to you know 18 and up or somewhere in the teens like a high teen I would recommend doing this tutorial but if you're lower it might not work as well but it's a good way to get reputation either way because it's pretty fast compared to doing the uh, strikes that take about 20 to 15 minutes this will take you on average depending on what the mission tells you to do and where you have to go they usually take you around 5 to 10 minutes and personally this uh, mission I received right here is probably the longest mission that I've gotten ever doing this so Worst case scenario, you'll get a mission like this where you got to go all the way across the freaking map and, you know, complete it. But if you do get a mission like this and you want to not do it, you just bring up your ghost and decline the uh, a mission and pick up another one. And you see right here, trying to go on top of that, we scan the area. And we're going to get 10 Vanguard reputation. Now, on average, the strikes give you 25. That's the max strike that you do. Not the weekly, you know, Nightfall one or anything like that. This is, you know, your max Tiger Vanguard. It gives you 25, but it takes about 20 minutes to 25 minutes to do one. This gives you, on average, 10, and if you get lucky and you have to defeat a boss, it gives you 15. So 10 to 15, it takes about 5 minutes to do each one. Uh, mathematically, you're getting more reputation than doing the strikes if you're quick enough doing it. And right here, I'm showing you my Warlock. I'm at Vanguard rank 2. I'm able to buy armor from the Vanguard uh, Warlock person, you know, whatever. You can see my gear right here that I got. I got the helmet, the chest, and all that. I got exotic uh, gauntlets. And it works very well. And here's there for the weekend, if you're looking for him. He's down by the uh, Vanguard reputation people. But, um... Yeah, uh, it works very well. I I grinded when I was Vanguard rank 1. I grinded for one day and did 200 of those, around 200 of those uh, beacon missions. And it took me about 5 hours, but it was well worth it. Because at the end of the day, I was Vanguard rank 2. So this works out very well for that. I think it's faster than doing the strikes. I mean, some people probably will argue about it and say that it isn't and, and that it is. But I found it a lot to do this. It does take patience and it's rep it's very repetitive, but it works well in my opinion. Well, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you drop a like and I hope I helped you out. Thanks for watching my first Destiny video of many that will be coming out soon. And I'll see you guys later.